All right. Well, earlier today when I was at work, I read an article on CNN about how this guy, the UFC fighter, he broke the uh, Cleveland sports curse. He won UFC 198 last night, which is just pretty interesting. I've been talking a lot about the back-to-back uh, -back theme, and I've been saying that I think the Warriors are going to win back-to-back -back this year, but I really don't know. There's a lot of connections to Cleveland, especially with this Cleveland sports curse. You know, we had Cleveland equals 51, LeBron James equals 51, Cleveland Cavs equals 51, they play in Quicken Loans Arena, Quicken Loans equals 51, and this article says 52 years, but uh, Cleveland hasn't won a sports championship for 51 years. It was in 19, 1964, it's still 51 years, so I don't know why this one says 52, but interesting, we had all these 51s. Cleveland hadn't won a sports championship in 51 years. So this kind of stirs up the pot a little bit, you know. This guy is now, he broke the Cleveland sports curse. So, you know, that was one of the biggest connections that the Cleveland Cavaliers had for me. But what's interesting, you know, I've talked about this back-to-back -back theme and how back-to-back -back is actually connected to the Cavaliers as well. Back-to-back -back equals 69. Cleveland Cavaliers equals 69. Lots of other 69s, but just wanted to point out the back-to-back -back could be connected to the Cavaliers because they are the same in Gematria. Also, wouldn't it seem kind of weird, I guess, because if Cleveland does end up winning, it would be back-to-back -back championships in Cleveland, right? The UFC fighter wins, and then the next sports championship would be the Cavaliers winning, and they would win back-to-back -back for Cleveland so I'm not putting not completely dismissing it but it is interesting as much as we've mentioned how the Cleveland sports curse of 51 and all these 51s and then literally the curse actually gets broke before the Cavaliers do it so anyway you know my thoughts have still been the Warriors you know there's just a lot of connections to both teams I've mentioned this over and over but I was, I've always been leaning on the side of the Warriors. So we'll see what happens. This is the article that CNN led you to. I just found this kind of interesting as well. Cleveland, we got a champion baby. Look at that as in Gematria. It just so happens to equal 114, just like LeBron James, the big way. So... You know, who knows? It may, it may still be coded to the Cavs, like I'm saying. This back-to-back -back theme is huge. It's all over the place. I was even at my mom's house the other day, and she took my nephew and daughter to the park, and I just stayed there and watched TV because it was cold. And the movie Premonition was on. Like, I don't know why I watched it, but it was on, I think, the TV channel called Pop or something. Anyway, I was as I was watching it, down in the, the bottom of the screen, they they said... Back-to-back -back Sandra Bullock movies. And then it went to a commercial, and then they said, back-to-back -back episodes of The O.C. later tonight. So they were showing you back-to-back -back on just TV shows, even. And it's interesting, because I have heard people talking, and they even, like, don't even know that they say back-to-back. -back, you know what I mean? And as much as I've seen it in all of the NBA games, there's more to it than just basketball, I'm sure. But just interesting in general. There's a huge, like back-to-back -back theme going on whether whatever it's for you know you know but they even have people mentioning it when they're talking because they're programming people a lot like when they always talked about Donald Trump being a train wreck I heard so many people they they would have little conversations or whatever you hear Donald Trump is just a train wreck you know and it's like well duh they're programming these train wrecks into your head it's just ridiculous you know Anyway, I'll come back to this. I did make a post the other day about the uh, 51 stuff with Cleveland as well, which there's a few other interesting things. So the 1996-97 season of the NBA, that was when the Chicago Bulls got their second back-to-back -back championship, right? After Jordan left and came back, it was the second win of the second three-peat or whatever. That just so happened to be the 51st season of the NBA. 
but that season also just so happened to be uh, Cleveland. The Cleveland sports curse was 33 years old in that season, and Cleveland actually equals 33 as well. So I thought that was pretty interesting. They didn't even make the playoffs that year, but they were connected to, you know, have a good season at least. I also have mentioned how the 51 isn't always a good thing for the Cavs because in 1989, Michael Jordan just so happened to make the shot over Craig Elo. Michael Jordan scored 44 points in this game. Craig Elo equals 51. He was a Cleveland Cavalier. Michael Jordan knocked out the, the Cavaliers on May 7th, 5-7. This year, the Cleveland Cavaliers finished the regular season with 57. 57 wins, I guess. And it's also interesting that the Warriors are coded to a lot of the 44 stuff and also to the the 72 win Chicago Bulls. You know, it's their 44th season in Golden State. Steve Kerr came back on the 44th game of the season. They beat the Bulls 44 home game win streak. Uh, Steph Curry just tied Reggie Miller for... Uh, most consecutive games with a three-pointer in the playoffs with 44. Tons of 44 stuff around the Warriors. So interesting, Jordan would score 44 points that year and beat the 51. Anyway, this year, the, the 33 years or whatever for Cleveland, Michael Jordan also just so happened to be his last day of being 33 years old. Just so happened to be the 51st game of the Chicago Bulls season that year. In the All-Star Week, just so happened to be in Cleveland. So interesting, today we had the Raptors winning and advancing on to play the Cavs, and the Raptors are the team that hosted the All-Star game this year. And of course, you know, the Raptors are the team that Drake supports, and Drake has the song Back to Back. So then Steph Curry also gets the unanimous 131 first place votes. Remember, championship equals 131. He also got all them votes on the 131st day this year. They were 73-9 and nine in the regular season. The 131st prime is 739. They did it against the Grizzlies. Grizzlies equals 131. Stephen Curry also just so happens to equal 73. Interesting, though, if the Cavs do win the finals, they'll have 73 wins on the season. And I know this is off topic. I'm just going to add it in here anyway. So this was uh, Steph Curry's comeback game here. I noticed that they scored a total of uh, 257 points, which is the 55th prime. It's actually a number I've seen a lot in the Warriors' wins, but they did lose when they were 55-5 and five to the Lakers. So they were going for their 56th win, just like the Miami Heat who lost today. They lost trying to get their 56th win. Don't know if that's connected just find that interesting. They also scored 132 points. David Blatt, the coach of the Cavs, was fired the same day that Steve Kerr came back, which was 132 days before the NBA Finals began. The Blazers had 125 points, which sticks out because the Warriors got their 73rd win, scoring 125. Also, the game after they blew out the Cavs by 34, they played the Chicago Bulls, and they scored 125 points. The total of that score was 219. Back-to-back -back championships equals 219. Also, the only other time that they scored 125 was against the Pelicans. The Pelicans were the team that the Warriors played the first game of the season. Warriors scored 111 points, just like the NBA Finals. If you write that out in Gematria, it equals 111. And also, when they scored 125 against the Pelicans, it was on Steph Curry's birthday on Pi Day, which was also two months, 19 days before the NBA Finals. The only reason that Curry got a play, too, was because Livingston got ejected. He's number 34. LeBron James shot 9 of 23 on 11-4. Then 34 Cavs games later, the Warriors defeated the Cavs by 34 points. Livingston was also 2 of 5 shooting. I've mentioned before how if LeBron wins the finals this year, he'll be 3 and 4 
in NBA Finals, and if he loses, he'll be 2-5. and five. So interesting, number 34 Livingston shoots 2 of 5 before getting ejected, before uh, Steph Curry comes back. Also, they kept making, making it a point that Steph Curry was saying, I'm back, I'm back. But remember, Michael Jordan said, I'm back, when he was announcing his comeback. But the Bulls didn't win the championship that year, so it makes me wonder. But, uh, you know, remember Jordan wore number 45 for 22 games, and on the 23rd game he came, switched back to number 23. Interesting, I'm back equals 21 and 39, which I mentioned. It could be a reference to the Spurs, but I was thinking more along the lines of the 21st prime is 73 just like Steph Curry's name and whatnot. Also, you know, they, there was a lot of 111 in this game. I didn't even write them all in here, but they went to overtime 111 to 111. They also mentioned how Curry was 0 of 10 on threes, and then he hit his next one, so he was 1 for 11 and whatnot. He's also the 61st player to win the MVP. 34 equals 61. It also says he's the 11th player to win back-to-back -back MVP awards. LeBron James was the last to achieve that feat with the Miami Heat 2012-2013. Just want to point out that LeBron James won the finals both years this year. He won back-to-back -back championships with the Heat. So just interesting. But uh, I'm not even going to read the rest of this. I want to go back to this Cleveland sports curse guy, the UFC guy. Stipe Miosik, or however you say that. First off, just look at this guy. So he's 33 years old. Cleveland equals 33. He breaks the 51-year-old Cleveland sports curse. Cleveland equals 33, also equals 51. He was born on August 19th, which is either written 8-19 or also 1-9-8, a lot like 198. He becomes the heavyweight champion on UFC 198. Interesting too, his name in Gematria, 121. Just like Warriors. Just like Revelation. Talked about how Philadelphia is in the book of Revelation. The Warriors were originally from Philadelphia. Also, this fight was originally supposed to be uh, Velasquez versus, however you say it, Weirdum or whatever. But then it changed to this guy, Stipe. And it was supposed to be fought on February 6th of 2016. Just interesting because it's that was the day Queen Elizabeth celebrated her 64th anniversary of being the Queen. And Queen Elizabeth and the Cleveland Cavaliers have the connection. Queen Elizabeth II, 168, Cleveland Cavaliers also equals 168. I even, even talked about how the Cavaliers are followers of of King Charles during the English Civil War. If Queen Elizabeth dies, her son will become the king. He'll be King Charles III. And of course, their star player on the Cavaliers is King James. Also, the NBA Finals begin on 6-2. This is the day that Queen Elizabeth ce celebrates her 63rd uh, anniversary of her coronation as being queen. So super interesting. The NBA Finals would start that day. Anyway, this guy broke the Cleveland curse 19 days before the NBA Finals. Also, two weeks, five days. Just makes me wonder about LeBron finishing two and five. This guy is also Croatian, which is interesting. So he says, what's up, Croatia, whatever. 19 in Gematria also is the same as Croatia. So pretty interesting, a Jewish Gematria. He does it 19 days before the NBA Finals. Croatia equals 19. So who knows? I'm going to look more into this. You know, definitely. I wanted to look into the game today. My Dish Network no longer works for some weird reason, so I have to wait for the guy to come out tomorrow. But uh, just wanted to post this. I found it super interesting. A lot of people have been telling me that, uh, you know, it's pretty obvious that the Cavs are going to win, which they still might, like I'm saying. Maybe it's back-to-back -back championships with the Cavs. I've just been really stuck on the Warriors because there's a lot of connections to the Warriors as well. So, you know, we'll find out. We'll see what's up. But interesting that the Cleveland sports curse gets broke before the Cleveland Cavaliers actually do it. So anyway, have a great one.